Hey, 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 this is Mr. 100% Gamer, and this is yet another LP slash guide for my YouTube account. If you have subscribed, subscribe please. Um, I know this game is a bit... It's not what I'm known for. If anybody knows me, it'll be because of Ratchet and Clank or Sly Raccoon. Not this. This is a bit of a, a niche game, maybe an unknown quantity as it, as it were. Developed by Frontier for the Sony PlayStation 2. Yes, I know I'm rambling about basically nothing. <laughs> but this is a dog's life. We're doing this LP doggy style! Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, you didn't know? <laughs> it's a dog's life. And, uh, yeah, this is a 100% guide of dog's life. That's not a joke. That's... I actually am. And, um, yeah. This game... It is a little bit of a hidden gem. I'm not saying it's the dog's bollocks. Yes, I know that's a very obvious pun. And I'll probably end up keep saying it because it is very obvious, and for that reason, I'm going to keep saying it. Saying it so much so that I'm going to make one Korean very, very hungry. Yeah, no offense, but this game actually is really good. I mean, just listen to the music. Well, you could have, but then I talked all over it. But the musical score in this game is really good. I have absolutely no idea who did it, but. If I could find the soundtrack for this game, which can be impossible, or if I'd rip it, I could rip it myself, then I'd definitely um, download it because it is actually a really good musical score in this game. And the gameplay is not bad either. And there's a bit of humour thrown in, the graphics aren't too bad, the cutscenes, the very few cutscenes there are, are actually really good looking as well. So, um, talking of cutscenes, the first one's coming up now. So, uh, yep, I'll sit back and let you watch the cutscene. Hi, I'm Jake, and this is my life. No school, no chores, no clothes. How cool is that? Ah, yes, it's great being a dog. Watch this. That's Daisy. Lately, she's been ignoring me. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, yes. She will be mine. Daisy? It smells nice out here in the country, don't it, Wade? You cannot be serious, Dwayne. The country's full of bugs. <laughs> I'll be glad when we get to Lake Minnewawa. Wayne, can I play with them nice doggies? For pity's sake, Dwayne. Are you nuts? They're full of terrible diseases. But I like doggies, Wayne. I told you no. <laughs> I know you were all gripped by the storyline there because it's just so amazing. You know, who would have thought dogs? Dog nappers? <gasps> no, I'm being very sarcastic there. But yeah, let's move on to the tutorial. Oh, my head. What the... No, Daisy! Oh, must rescue Daisy. But how... Hey, Jake. How's it hanging? Come on. I'll race you to the top of the hill. Oh, brother. People are so insensitive. But I need to get back in shape if I'm going to look for Daisy. Hold on to your pants. Here I come. 
Right, so here we are, this is the tutorial. This is smell -o vision you're going to see this a lot. This is basically a navigation kind of feature. So you know where you're kind of going, there's footprints show up on smell -o vision and smells which open new missions. And, uh, yep, circle is to talk. Well, Jake, looks like I beat you fair and square. Hey, that's Mr. Jake to you, Stinkfoot. So, you want to play another game? Are you kidding? Does a dog poo in the woods? Okay, here goes. Ready, Jake? Less talk, more action. Follow me, Jake! So as you know, this is a 100% guy of dogs life, so I'm getting all the collectibles. Good dog! Come on, Jake! Don't you call me a dog again. Good mister. boy, Jake! And basically, that means we have to get all the bones. This is actually the first bone in the game, and it's basically just follow where he goes. It's very, very easy. It's just navigation Real training. Real good, Jake. Hey, Jake, what's up with you? You okay? You look a little funny. The dog nappers mentioned a place name. What was it again? I've got to go see Gramps. Mum says he's as crazy as a nudist at the South Pole, but I think he's cool. Why don't you run down to the farmhouse and play with Lopez, the Chihuahua? <laughs> Maybe you can practice your racing technique with her. I'm off to Gramps now. So there we go. Just telling you again, you need a smell vision to collect smells. So that is bone number one. Wahoo! At last! Uh, collect bones to raise your status and your performance. So you can uh, complete later challenges. It's kind of like that's kind of like an RPG element on a very, very basic level. If you see these yellow um, auras around here, I'm gonna try and not get the the smells because uh, I don't want to get them. I want to get them more than like the same time so that you can see where they all are in one video or in one section of the video. If you see them, that means there's something oh, hidden. Tastes great. Under the um, under the ground, which is a bone. I mean, common sense, obviously. Dig, bone, dog. Easy enough to guess. So that is actually the, um, that's the second bone in the game, and the second bone in the farmhouse area. The third bone is actually in here. As you can see, you can't jump up there right now because the blocks, the haystacks aren't high enough. So you've got to um, move this one across. You can't jump across from here onto that one. So you've got to get on this side of this one and drag it across. I do admit the controls can be a bit awkward sometimes when moving Jake around in a confined area. But that's mini because to control Jake you've got to like move um, as, as a four-legged being rather than a two-legged being, which is a lot more difficult to program. Well, and that's what it's all about. It sure is, and that's bone number three. Easy enough. Uh, I guess we'll do play bone number four. With ball. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play with the ball. This is basically teaching you how to throw the ball to, like, basketball. Basically, back up so you're in a decent position. The car was in the way there, so... Right? Come on. Yeah, the camera's kind of annoying when you turn around. You usually turn around far too much. Hold down and press circle to throw through the hoop. You've got to do Jake it shoots, three he times. Scores. Two more to go. Yep, you've got to do it two more times. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Jakey Boy rules. The four-legged Michael Jordan. One more to go. Michael Jordan, don't insult me. Um, so here we got one more. Oh, hit the rim. Oh, brother, I need to practice. So much for the four-legged Michael Jordan. You're gonna have to use a lot of cars. There's a lot of things where you do things that just don't. Yeah, seem a bit odd. Oh, brother, I need to practice. Oh, hit the rim on the other side now. Bite me. That was almost in. Bite my furry little... Yeah. There we go. Oh, yes! 
sniff my butt. This dog is bad. Right, so we're gonna move on to the next uh, task now, which will get us another bone in a, in a in a minute or two. Cool. Now get all eight, and I can race the local champ. When you race the local champ, you can take control of them when you win. I feel the need, the need to feed. So here we go, this is the first Three, kind two, of one, mini game, go. and this is the dog race. Basically you have to outrun the local dog and collect all of the treats along the way. The first one is against Lopez the Chihuahua. It is very easy, the Chihuahua is really slow. You can beat him with one bone very easily, so the fact we already have four, or you should already have four, makes this even easier. You might only miss maybe one or two when you're doing the jumps, which he won't miss, but apart from that you should get all of them. It is actually just pathetically easy. There we go. And now we can control Lopez. You can, can, can go back Lopez, to controlling what? Jake. The ground is a lot more interesting up close. By either like r running out of time, yeah. or peaches at ya. completing your objective, or oh, pressing square. Love to watch other dogs doing my dirty work. There we go. That is our fifth bone. You don't actually get bones from the challenge itself. I like it a lot. You get the dog's abilities by doing the challenges, and then from there you can actually, well, use that dog to get a bone you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Right, I guess we'll do the red smells now. The red smells for a game of doggy do. If I find them, the local dog shows me some tricks. Yeah, basically. Yeah, um, it's not for a bone. This is actually the only other thing you can actually do actually, and this is learn begs. And begs will get you treats like food and that. Your move, my man. Basically, just match the buttons that he just did. The first couple are really easy. It's about two per overworld. There's actually three overworlds. There's uh, Clarksville, the Lake Miniwawa, and Boom City. Go for it, guy. And each area has about maybe five or six areas. Doing a turd. And um, this is like one of those areas, the the farmhouse. And when you go across the bridge, you go to another area. Go for it, guy. So overall, the game's not actually that small, even though it's only got three main areas. And two types of collectibles. And this is where it shows you all the moves you've unlocked. You see there's only about six. So I think it's two per area. Because there's one more you can get at the water mill. That's the only other kind of unlockables you can get, apart from the bones. And I'll be showing all of them. Because I may as well. I don't think there's really much Thank more you, time Ms. to do anything Peaches. else. Always a pleasure to hear from that girl. We go way back, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. Just get some food. <laughs> more on that later. You, oh, you're gonna have to do that. Chicken farmer, Merle, chicken with a line. You're gonna have to get food the every once in a while because the uh, Jake will get hungry and he'll lose stamina and he won't be able to do tasks very easily. Right, I'm gonna. One of the challenges is actually a bit more difficult, so I'm gonna get some more bones now. So I'll see you in the next part when we go across the bridge.